Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Razer. This is the Razer Stream Controller X. It's an all-in-one keypad for streaming and content creation, and it's their answer to the Elgato Stream Deck. Uh, you've got 15 customizable buttons, and this runs on the Loop Deck software, so if you've used products that use Loop Deck in the past, you'll be right at home with this. And we're going to dig into this and the Loop Deck software to kind of show you exactly what Razer's got going on with the Stream Controller X. Okay, so let's do a quick unboxing of the Stream Controller X. One thing that I always like about Razer products is their presentation. Uh, the box, the packaging, everything is top notch. Uh, and you're you know, getting a really a nice setup here. They do have included a one year warranty as you can see in the bottom uh, on the back there. So let's take a look real quickly at the presentation of an unboxing of the Stream Controller X. We of course have the Stream Controller X here, 15 button layout. Uh, we do have our cable and this cable is a very high quality nice cable that we'll get into in a second. We do have some documentation here, uh, some inserts that I'll get rid of on the side here. And we do have a uh, really nice stand for this, uh, which I'll get into a little bit later. So that's pretty much everything that you get in the box here for the Stream Controller X. Uh, and again, just a really nice presentation as always from Razer. So let's take a look at some of the things that we get. Of course, you get some documentation here for the Stream Controller X. You can use this on PC and you can use it on Mac. Uh, it is going to run with a Razer Synapse and Loop Deck. So you're gonna have to install those when you uh, first connect everything. Uh, hold on to it for reference just in case you need it. Now, as far as the connection cable goes, they do give you this connection cable here, which is a really high quality, a nice braided cable uh, from Razer. And it is going to be a USB type C to connect into the Stream Controller X to a USB type A for your PC or Mac or laptop, whatever you're gonna be using the Stream Controller X with. So you have all of that there. Then we've got our stand here. So let me get these all done and ready and uh, to show you exactly what these look like. And there are some features that I wanna go over real quickly with these as well. Okay, so now that I've got these kind of unwrapped and ready to go for you, uh, let's take a look at the actual uh, Controller X first. 15 of these switchblade buttons here, and they've got this really nice tactile feel to them uh, when you press them, so you're really going to get that kind of feedback or kind of punch uh, when you actually hit a button. So if you're streaming and, or doing content creation and you are just doing it by feel, uh, you're going to be really satisfied with the buttons. Now we do have these magnetic removable face plates. You can buy other ones separately to kind of make the Stream Controller X your own. Uh, of course, uh, it's all magnetic, so easy to take off, easy to put on. You've got three feet located on the bottom here, and you do have a, that USB Type-C input on there as well. So you can actually set this on your desk without the stand if you don't want to, and it, it does a really good job at holding it in place uh, here without it moving around too much on your desk just by using it without the angled stand. Uh, but we're gonna take a look at the angled stand here as well uh, because there's a couple things that I really like about the angled stand as well. Now it's a 50 degree angle and it's a fixed angle. So you're gonna get a better view uh, using the stand at 50 degrees. It's got kind of a pass through for the cable here. And the really cool thing about this, uh, on the bottom, they also have uh, this sticky type material uh, on the bottom that when you have this down on your desk here, you're going to be able to have this. It's not going to move an inch uh, when you're using it. So that's really cool as well uh, for keeping it in place. A lot of other 
products uh, that are or are deck type products like this that I've tested in the past have had problems with moving around on your desk while you're pushing the buttons. Uh, that is not going to be the case for the Stream Controller X. Now, the last thing I want to talk about the stand is the stand is magnetic. Uh, so it pops right in there uh, and is magnetic for you. So that is really cool as well. Okay, so once you have this hooked up, we can kind of take a closer look at what this looks like on the default screen here. This is kind of your desktop OBS streaming type mode that you get here. You get some basic shortcuts like Discord and uh, you know Steam and Loop Deck itself, Razor Synapse. Uh, you know some of your social functions like Facebook, uh, you know Twitch, uh, OBS, Twitter. All of these things, of course, Chrome's in there too. And then you have some uh, mute buttons and some sound buttons as well that you can click. Uh, and you can, of course, uh, customize this to whatever you would like. This is just the basic setup here. But going in, I can mute you know, my microphone, the PC. I can mute Steam. I can mute whatever's running. Uh, and I can have all of these things set up in here as well. So you do have uh, quite a bit of functionality already built in. They do give you a few other uh, pages here for like Twitch, uh, running ads, recording, broadcasting, uh, you know, things like that, emotes, uh, and other things that are already built in. But again, you can go in with the Loop Deck software and totally customize this to whatever you would like. Of course, you have sounds as well. Uh, you have uh, you know emojis, uh, actions, whatever you would like, uh, you can do on this. And you're going to have a really nice uh, screen. The screen is really, really bright and vibrant, and it can be adjusted in the software as well. And it also has that 15 button layout and a, a, a kind of a higher quality icon setup than I've seen on some other uh, deck products. Okay, so let's take a look at the Loop Deck software that this will be running on. Uh, and you can adjust these four main pages that I showed you. Uh, you can add more pages onto the end and you can adjust each one of these to whatever you'd like. Now on the right hand side, you're gonna see that we have a bunch of different uh, keyboard shortcuts or opening applications, web pages. Uh, you can really drill down into this to add to any one of these buttons whatever you would like you can see that there's a plus there or I can just drop the box down and I can do a, uh, a bunch of different things with this uh, depending on what I want to do a sound a web page uh, whatever I would like to ins uh, insert to that particular button I can definitely do of course here I can add an, a new page uh, and I can delete pages if I want to delete them all at once I can do that as well uh, so we do have all of the ability to be very customizable with this uh, using the Loop Deck software. You can see under custom we've got keyboard shortcuts, opening applications, web pages, sound, text, and tons of other things. Uh, you know, if I want to put in a web page action, I can, uh, you know, list the web page. Uh, again, new sounds, I can browse the sounds and put those in a, a certain key as well. And I can drag and drop these uh, directly on to uh, this setup here. And when I do do that, it will automatically update on the Stream Controller X. Uh, so you do have those options. Uh, we do have uh, other things as well uh, for you know uh, streaming, uh, OBS, uh, Twitch, uh, your desktop functions like your clipboard. So again, this is not just for streaming. This is for content creation as well. Uh, and we'll get into that in just a few seconds. Uh, but if I do want to add keyboard type things, I can do that. Mouse clicks as well. Uh, so if I want my mouse wheel to do something, uh, I can drag this over, say my mouse wheel vertical, and I can drag it over to a button. And then when I assign it, it will then now appear on that page and it will automatically update 
on uh, this Dream Controller X as well, uh, as you'll see in a few seconds in the lower right hand corner. Uh, so it does do this uh, pretty easily, uh, no problems, just kind of uh, dragging and dropping things in uh, into the where I would like them on uh, the Stream Controller X. So you can see I'm adding some more in here as well. And it's super easy uh, to do so uh, and uh, very, very uh, quick and easy actions. And of course, I can do other things as well. And of course, we have a loop deck device uh, things as well, uh, such as uh, navigating uh, through, rotating your displays. We have OBS Studio. Now, OBS Studio isn't installed right now on my PC, but as you can see, if you're going to be streaming, uh, it's fully integrated with OBS Studio uh, for taking screenshots or recording toggles or uh, pausing your recording, uh, doing all different types of actions with that, as well as um, you know, uh, doing Twitch and of course uh, doing Streamlabs is also in here as well. So whatever your uh, chosen uh, setup is for streaming, it's going to be pretty much integrated and ready to go here. And of course, if I want to unassign buttons, I can easily do that by just right clicking on the button and then on assigning it as well. And you can see I can just drag things in here for uh, you know chat followers only chat for Twitch and things like that. So it works out really, really well. Now in the upper left hand corner, of course, we have our device section here. I'm using the Stream Controller X, but if you have any of other Loot Decks uh, products, you can of course select those and control those all of course right there. Then you have your profile. This is my main profile. This is the default OBS and Twitch profile that you see when you uh, first get set up, but you have other options as a content creator, especially using uh, Illustrator, Lightroom Classic, Photoshop, uh, and uh, Premiere Pro. So you can actually use uh, the Stream Controller X to be able to uh, help you with your content creation as well. So this is something that content creators can take advantage of through the Loop Deck software as well. Uh, it's going to ask you for the plugin for Premiere Pro, which you can get from the marketplace. Uh, they'll also be able to help you with how to set that up. If you uh, hit the more tab here, it'll take you and tell you how to go in and get it all set up. So it's pretty simple. Uh, the marketplace is something that we want to talk about as well. There is a button for it in the upper right hand corner. And the marketplace is a place where you're going to get a lot of plugins here for depending on the programs that you are going to be using. Like right here off the bat is Premiere Pro. I use Premiere Pro to edit a lot of my videos and you can install the profile right from here or plugin. It's going to ask you to sign into your Loop Deck account to get that going. But that gives you a, a good idea of a lot of the things that you can do with the stream controller X bundled of course with loop deck uh, to be able to have an overall great experience not only for streaming but also for content creation so there you go that's my review of the Razer stream controller X all-in-one keypad for streaming and content creation I think that the design of this product is rock solid, especially when it's sitting on your desk. Something that other pad type controllers like this in the past have failed at uh, and it moves around on your desk a lot. So that is a huge, huge thing. So definitely build quality is top notch. Using the Loop Deck software uh, and making this integrated to this uh, Stream Controller X is really great and almost endlessly customizable uh, for usage with your streaming tools and of course for content creation as well. Uh, so you've got a lot going for it here. Uh, being Razer, it just has a great presentation overall. The buttons uh, and feel and fit and finish of it are really impressive. Uh, and in this space, I think Razer has as a, a nice addition to kind of the deck space here for streaming and content creation. 
This was a Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.